Man, I'm not gonna lie, I got the beautiful girl in the world. Don't even play with me like that. No. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's my girlfriend, guys. Don't, don't fucking that's lie to those that's, people. That's, 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 that's my girlfriend. Yo, what up, fellas? It's KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at y'all again with that heat, that volcano lava. But we're going to keep it short and simple, though. I bet y'all know what to do with everything else. Keep the likes going. Keep subscribing. I'm coming along. But I'm not coming along fast enough. Let's keep this going. A thousand is the goal. Remember that. A thousand is the goal. We can go from there. Give you some interesting videos. Bring me that thousand. Jokes or not, don't embarrass yourself like that dude that you see in the video. I'm not here to judge him by his looks. I'm not here to judge the way he, his size or the, how he's shaped. And, and I'm not what he's wearing and where he's at. And I'm not that kind of person. However, what I am going to say is that don't be that kind of guy that's claiming shit that's not claiming you back. You dig? It could be a joke. Once again, I got sent this video. It could be a joke. I don't know. They could be cousins. They could be sisters. Or they could be friends. And the way society is today and these cameras, motherfuckers do anything for these cameras. So it could be a joke. Disclaimer. We're going to put that in there. But you know what my channel is about. It's about reality. It's about what's real. Do not put yourself in a situation to claim no woman that's not claiming you. Whether it's a joke or not. And don't be throwing the camera up in your face. Throwing the camera up in her face. Oh, this is my girl. Yeah, we together. We this and that. That's her job. Let her do that. Women live and thrive off their, you know, photography work, cameras. They like to take pictures and they like to be behind a the camera. They like to be front and center of attention because they are attention-seeking individuals. I mean, attention-seeking creatures. That's who they are. Can't change that about them. But you don't do her job. You do your job. And your job is to allow her to throw that camera up there. And you can either duck that motherfucker, you can stand strong and stand proud and claim that. It's up to you, but um, you doing her job for her? Make you look thirsty. Make you look like you're not worthy. Make it look like um that you're lacking something. And you don't want to be put out there like that. There's so many guys out here that is doing what he's doing. I see it all the time in the grocery stores. I see it all the time at these shopping centers, uh, gas stations, things of that nature. You know, whether it's their girl or not, grabbing up on her, hugging her, taking pictures with her, forcefully doing things to show society or whoever's your viewers, your subscribers, whoever follow you or whatever, that this is mine. This is me right here. Well, you ain't got to do that. You let her do that. That's her job. Don't be a sucker. Don't be a simp. Once again, I'm not here judging dude at all. She definitely judged you. You did. She definitely judged homeboy. She ain't claiming that. So why would you claim her? If you like her and you dig her, keep everything on camera and keep it professional with her. You ain't got to throw nothing up on camera. For one, she's not going to take you serious. If she did like you, she's not going to take you serious. She's going to look at you as a bitch. She's going to look at you as, what's they say, uh, GFE, girlfriend experience, girlfriend, GFM, girlfriend material. That's what they call it, GFM. I've been hearing little chicks saying that, girlfriend material. A chick once told me that before. She said, uh, yeah, I got guys that's my GFM. Like, I'm like, huh, what's, what's that? She said, girlfriend material. I'm like, damn, like. They share some kind of chemistry like she would share it with her friend. But she's sharing this chemistry with a guy. We all know he wants to get laid. We know he wants to get in them draws. We know that. Who the fuck is he fooling? He's fooling himself. Because he got placed into a GFM material box or whatever. GFE or 
he got placed into that friend zone box to where she only hitting them up when she when it's time for her to go out and look for some shoes or some some high heels or some uh you know what I'm saying? You wanna go help me pick out some shoes and this? Yeah, yeah, girl, let's go. You know, we can do that. Thinking that he that's getting him one step closer to that pussy when it's not. It's taking him further backwards to the door, to where you kicked out in the streets. Ain't nothing happening for you. She's shopping for shoes to go bang out the motherfucker that ain't doing what you doing. Fellas must understand that. That's the times we're living in. I've always believed that's the times we've always been living in, but it's more blatant now than it was in the 90s and 80s and things. They were still doing that shit, you know. Having these suckers and simps follow up behind them, carry your purse. Like I was just in the gym with the guy the other day. Um, the chick come in. <laughs> man, she cool little piece, man. She be eye-fucking all the time, you know. But like these women do, they ain't got no game, so they don't know how to approach, you know. But you don't know what you're dealing with when you're in them gyms, you know. You could be for attention. She could be doing it to get you to get it, you know, give her attention or not. You don't know. So they got to unravel a little bit more for me to approach in them gyms and in them clubs. I know how they get down in them clubs. It can be for attention. It ain't always you're going to get no ass coming up out of them. Mouth. It could be for attention. But she was making a long story short. She was walking in there. And she handed her bag, her purse, to the dude that was with that came in with her. He took her purse, gave her a hug. She went into the ladies' room. He went into the men's room. I'm behind him because I'm coming in behind him, checking in. So I'm behind him. He go in the man's room. I'm shaking my head the whole time like this simp ass motherfucker just grabbed her purse and went to go put it up for her. Well, she could have locked her purse up herself. He locked it up, dressed out. Went out there working out with you. She I fucking me the whole time. But she came in with him. Don't be that GFM material. You dig? And this is what you see in that video. This is how it unfolds. Guys claiming shit, trying to be a part of something that they're not welcome. She's around you for one reason. She's around you because she, she look at you as a friend. She don't look at you as someone that she wants to get nailed by fuck no nah. or you wouldn't be throwing no camera up you'd be in that motherfucking bedroom getting it in you dig so remember that fellas like these videos share it and subscribe and always have standards have morals about yourself have some standards and morals have some class have some fucking dignity some morality um you know um be upright you know what i'm saying be articulate be that guy that when she sees, she sees like, shit, I can't do nothing, but my pussy get wet. I'm ready to fuck him now. That's what you, you want to be that guy. You dig? Man, all that picture cameras in here. It's my girlfriend. The fuck out of here, man. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. It's the message. Holla. Good.